I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to link a PDF in your MailChimp email. First I'm going to be showing you on the new builder and then on the classic builder. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And when I answer your question quickly, please give me a thumbs up and put a thank you in the comments. That will help other people find this video as well. YouTube doesn't like short videos, but I like to answer your questions quickly. So this is how we'll work together. So first I am in the new builder here. I'm going to do this two different ways. First, we'll do a button. We're gonna change the text on our button to read whatever we want it to. And then over here where it says web address, we are going to flip this to file. And it's going to give us two options. We can upload from our device, or if you already have it uploaded into MailChimp, you're gonna do that here. There it is. The way that this works is the file lives in MailChimp and you're linking to it from your email. The PDF does not become an attachment, so you're not sending a giant email. The way that this works is when they press the button, it will open the PDF in their browser and they can choose to read it there or they can download it and save it. Next, we are going to attach that file to some linked text. So I'm just going to pick this random piece of text right here and then head up here to link. And again, we're gonna switch from web to file and it's already uploaded, so I'm going to go to my content studio. There it is. Insert. Save. And there we go, there is our link. Now, if you're using the new builder, I just answered your question, so give me a thumbs up and a thank you. And I'm going to head over to the classic builder. Here we go, I've got almost the same email in the classic builder here. And it's a similar process, so I'm going to drag over my button Again, change the text on my button. And here under link to instead of web address, I will again be picking file. For this one, it just goes right to the content studio. So if I haven't uploaded it, you can do that here and attach it. And then again, with this text, I'm going to link it, click file. There we go, insert. Now, if I look at this link, it is going to now say web address, and that's because it is linking to the web address of that file that is in MailChimp. But don't worry, it's working. Well, there we go, that's it. If you've got some more learning to do, go ahead and check out my other videos. You can also join my email list to find out about upcoming trainings, and feel free to leave any questions in the comments. See you around.